what's going on taurus welcome back to the jewelry box with your girl empress gem here to drop some jewels this will be your may monthly check-in general message guys take what's for you leave the rest behind virgo placements all my information is listed below all right let's get into your show here and just a heads up, guys, uh, I will be doing a yes or no question at the end, so you can prep yourself now for that if you need be, right? Um, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So Virgo. All right, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this could be the energy of returning back to something that you once left here, okay? Well, this could even be somebody coming back to you, okay? Someone who tried to walk away and thought that they found their happiness and they really didn't, um, and they're coming back. This could also be the energy here where you could be doing a little water sign, Pisces specific, who is not, they don't want to walk away. They don't want to let this go. This also could be in you in the energy of needing to emotionally detach from a situation and just let it go. Like um, the moon is kind of in the reverse position. So it's kind of giving a vibe of the sun. It's like the clarity's here. It's time to get going, but it's like not, not busting a move so to speak, um, could be still some underlying secrets here or some, something to uncover or figure out, or this could be one, feeling like you need closure on a situation and when in reality you don't. Okay, so what's the block here? Yeah, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, Virgo, this could be your energy, could also be a Taurus here or a Scorpio. Okay, I'm picking that up. Or a Capricorn energy here. Um, masculine energy here. This person or this could even be you, is like not feeling stable or secure enough to walk away from a situation or feeling like I, I heard you owe me. <laughs> so it's like still feeling like you're owed something here. Like I said, something is missing. Um, could be wondering like, okay, no, but I lost a lot of money here in this situation or somebody like really like took up my time here in this situation or something like that. But that's the block here, feeling like there's still something missing or there's still like this need of stability. Um, heavy codependent energy here. So it's like needing a provider. Okay. Somebody could be not wanting to detach from you because you could be the sole provider here, Virgo. And somebody is just like, no, I need Virgo here. Okay. Um, or, you know, flip it how I need to be. This could be you like not really ready to go because you don't feel secure enough to go out and do things on your own. Like I feel like I could even be talking to somebody who's like in their early twenties or something and you could still be at home with your parents or whoever it is you live with, or like even if you have roommates and you're just really questioning of whether or not you can move forward here and like handle this by yourself. Okay, yeah, see, there's a lot of secrets. The moon energy, Cancer Pisces here, um, but there and see then the little scorpion crab lobster thing coming out the water. That's that Scorpio I was picking up. But um, yeah, it's like there's still some things that you're unsure of. This this literally could just be a lot of fear embedded here as well. Okay, um, jumping to conclusions. There's a lot of jumping to conclusions. There also could be like literally some sort of secrecy here. Like there could be some hidden money, hidden will here. Or somebody could like have a hidden plan when it comes to, <clears throat> okay, your assets or something of that nature here. What you don't know is, yeah, there's a lot of money involved here. There's a lot of money, okay? There's other family members that could be involved here, okay? Or even just like, um, I'm hearing legality. So there could be like lawyers and things. This definitely could be done with a well here or separation even still. like, Or somebody could have like some hidden money here, okay? That somebody's trying to hide from somebody. Somebody could have literally took your money and tried to, I'm hearing um, offshore accounts. So somebody could have your money like put in like some offshore accounts. I'm hearing some other stocks or something like that. They have your money hidden up. So that way, like, it's untraceable, like, back to them or something like that. But there is a lot of money here. You are definitely right about that, Virgo. Okay, yeah, like, you realize somebody was holding back or you could have found yourself really having to hold back, found yourself in a tight pickle here. Okay, you could have started checking your accounts. I'm hearing an accountant here. So I don't know. Somebody here could, like, really have, like, a lot of money. You could be famous, okay? Um, but, like, you realize that you started to have to um, penny pinch or, you know, watch your spending, um, some of you guys started to actually start to do your own books here and you started to notice some discrepancies in the numbers here. Um, embezzlement here. Somebody is definitely trying to like get away with swindling, stealing some money here. Okay, yeah. This is, I feel like this is charges being pressed um, here. 
Okay, somebody coming in and setting a record straight. There's a piece of evidence coming in really rapidly regarding the situation here. Um, this also could be you, Virgo, here, or somebody else being like coming in real pissed off because they realize what's going on. Like, I oh my gosh, like. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't like that. So we're going to get out this energy. Yeah, this is definitely about like somebody's ex-wife, baby mama, um, uh, their own mother. This is a, a, a very clingy, um, codependent energy here. She likes to look pretty on somebody else's dime. That's what I heard. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so yeah, she definitely um, was stealing up this money. This made some, this masculine energy go broke. Like, seriously but there's still a lot more money like there's still money and i feel like this masculine figured this out about this empress that she really ain't who she says she is and they just made this person like real unstable and not you know good on her focus and i feel like this masculine about to come in and say something about all this yeah about this person that they were sharing with that they was giving with that they was trusting with their money so let's skip your fortune card you need to pause take your five seconds whatever pause um Gonna get your card out here for you. Yes and no, and a couple numbers. All right, what do we have here? Divine Holy Spirit for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Close out this five. Okay. The answer is yes. The number twenty. Okay, that could be of significance. And you have the number six o nine as well. Okay. But you have you receive a check or paper money soon. Told you somebody got some money. That junk coming out though. Regardless, right now it's hidden. Facts. Um. Do we have yes? <laughs> Okay, 555, it was just a notification on my phone. But you will be more prosperous in the near future, number 16. So between the 16th and the 20th or in 16 to 20 days, okay, could be very significant for you in the month of May. But Virgo, that has been your message. I hope that it's helped. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next time, peace.